have been talking about this transformation in your body, uh, perceptions and people, the car, the rules. What, what about the mind? How do you work your mind to be able to stay focused, having to balance all these other aspects at the same time? Well, I think the mind is, is very powerful and it's a, it's a great tool. I mean, once you are physically um, fit enough, then you can really just focus on, on what you're doing. And for me, like having that self-confidence uh, first is, is very important um, to know that you can achieve anything uh, that you put your mind into. And of course, it, it's motorsport is a very demanding sport mentally um, because you have to share your attention. So you're Uh, going 300 kilometers an hour or more than that, um, you need to focus on where you're gonna break, where you're gonna turn in, uh, because if you miss five meters of your breaking point, you're in the wall. Somebody's talking to you on the radio. Uh, you are doing something on the steering wheel that the engineers are requiring you to, and you're trying to beat another 20 or 30 people that are behind you. So it's it's a lot of multitasking. So it demands a lot of your brain, a lot of concentration, and a lot of things that you need to do naturally, like the steering wheel changes. So I, I do a lot of visualization um, before the races, uh, during the weekends when I want to change something, um, because in motorsport as well, you have very limited time um, when you have like 45 minute practice and you go straight into qualifying, which is one lap where you need to do the perfect lap. And these these things I, I try to, to do um, mentally, so visualization and obviously of the car, like out of the car, you know, to try to do different exercises with coordination, reactions, open your peripheral vision, um, multitasking, so with a ping pong ball and just Uh, in the other racket, you do something else, and then you 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 go somewhere with a football um, ball as well. So like doing a lot of things at a time, and I think this this really helps a lot. You said you said something really interesting, which is um, if you believe you can achieve something, then you work hard in order to achieve it. But but in the way. You get a lot of naysayers, right? You get a lot of critique. You mentioned that earlier, social media, you get a lot of people saying whatever they want to say, because in sports, and that is cruel, you get a ranking, right? And that ranking is the reflection of what's supposed to be winners and not winners, right? So, and I want to ask you this, because right now, many companies and many people are struggling a lot because of what's going on and they don't know if their business is going to succeed, if they're going to have a job, if the family is going to be okay, if this is going to go away, if they will, you know, be able to travel again. I mean, people are having a lot of stress in, in their minds uh, right now. Dreams are being crashed right now. Crushed, not crashed, crushed. <laughs> So, I mean, you have a lot of expertise with that. So what would be a good advice you could, you could give us? How can we help our mind recover from all these negativity and all these naysayers? Yeah, I mean, I think you always have a no. <laughs> so um, that's what you start with. And, and you can always change people. You, you always have to go step by step, I think. And uh, first thing, obviously, now it's it's to recover fully from this. But for me, it's it's always been like, okay, I want to be as prepared as I possibly can because when the opportunity comes around, and you never know when that's gonna happen. But you need to be prepared because 
otherwise you don't want to miss that opportunity they don't come often so for me a, a big 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 time and big things that motivate me is is to to be prepared um to be patient uh to enjoy what i do and and to keep believing that it it can happen uh, you know it may not be tomorrow or this year but it could be the next one and i think you need to keep your um your options open uh, but being very well prepared or prepare even harder if you can if somebody tells you no uh, well that's their loss but i will keep uh trying to be better uh because somebody one day will give me that chance and i will be ready so i think for example this is something that i have also seen here with my sister and uh, of course training is quite a challenge when you are under four walls but mm -hmm. uh, she has found the ways to exercise and i was telling her like okay we're gonna end up the quarantine and you're gonna be fitter than when you were training outside <laughs>